So Falcom sent me a few accessories here to check out. They sent me this Pocket 3 expansion frame, a wrist strap, and a shoulder strap. So this is mainly a video for the Pocket 3, but then we have this shoulder strap. Uh, we'll figure this out together. <laughs> First, let's check out the F22 quick release expansion frame for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I've been using this for a few weeks now and I absolutely love it. I don't think I'm ever gonna take this off. <laughs> so the base can do a lot of things, so let's start in the front. Right behind the logo here is a tool so that you can tighten and loosen the mounting screws. The front also acts as an action mount interface. They have accessories like lights that use these mounts, but I have a few DJI action mounts that this works perfectly on. I mostly use it to mount on my backpack strap. I originally bought the DJI adapter so that I could mount the Pocket 3 onto my backpack, but the issue with this mount is that it kept the screen facing away from me. With this adapter, I can use my old action mount and finally have the screen facing towards me so that I can see what I'm filming. I can even tilt it a little bit so I can get a better angle too. On the side here is an F22 quick release interface. I don't have any accessories that use F22, but as you can see in this photo, you can attach accessories like a handle to the adapter. There's also a quarter inch thread here in the middle of the mount. Right under the screw is a lanyard hole, which is going to be perfect for that wrist strap that we'll check out later. On the other side is a cold shoe mount, so you can attach things like lights or a microphone to it. They even thought ahead and have a cutout here for the SD card, so you don't have to remove the expansion adapter to access your memory card. The back of the expansion adapter has pretty much everything you need to be able to mount the Pocket 3 onto anything. So just like the front, the back also works as an action mount interface. But back here is also a quarter inch mount and foldable fingers or GoPro mounts. You won't need to attach a mounting plate on here because it's Arca Swiss compatible and can also be used on F38 and Yuka mounts. It's also F22 compatible, which I still don't have accessories for, so You'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> if you can't find a way to mount your Pocket 3 with this expansion adapter, I can't help you. <laughs> What's really nice about this is that it doesn't get in the way of attaching a mounting base. So if you're using the one from DJI or if you have another mounting base, it will attach it with no problems. It also doesn't get in the way of the protective case that comes with the Pocket 3. I know people like to use aftermarket cases, so I'm not sure if this will get in the way of those cases or not, but if you're using the original one from DJI, you won't have any issues. Like I was saying, I don't think I'm ever going to take this off my Pocket 3. <laughs> so next, let's check out the Maglink Quick Magnetic Buckle Wrist Strap. It's like a tongue twister. <laughs> it uses these tail buckles that attach to your camera and then connect to your wrist strap magnetically. They're super easy to use and really easy to attach. They have a round design to keep it from rotating around and twisting and knotting up. Once they lock in place, they're not coming unlocked until you pull on the tail rope. No matter which way you pull your camera, it's not going to come off the strap until you want it to. The tail buckle is made of wear resistant 18 braided Dyneema rope, which is commonly used in parachutes and has a static load bearing weight of up to 50 kilograms. It has a three layer rope wear warning design, so you'll know if you need to replace them or not. If the yellow rope is showing, it needs to be replaced soon. If the red rope is showing, you should definitely stop using it. The inner layer of the strap is nice and soft, while the outer layer is stitched with flexible cowhide. The buckles on the strap are made of ABS and PC mixed plastic material, so they're softer than other straps that use metal buckles and they won't scratch your camera. You can lock it open and use it as a cuff, or you can cinch it to keep it more secure on your wrist. There's a magnet in the strap so you can wrap it around your wrist and use it as a bracelet when you don't have it attached to your camera. I'll be honest, I don't use a wrist strap when I use my Pocket 3, but I can see this being really useful. Finally, we have the Maglink Quick Magnetic Buckle Shoulder Strap. <laughs> Are these official names of these things? Oh, it is. You know what? I'm just gonna call it a shoulder strap. <laughs> so this is basically the same thing as a wrist strap, except it's a shoulder strap. <laughs> The magnetic buckle works exactly the same, which makes sense since it's the same ecosystem. When you detach the links from your camera, you can magnetically attach the buckles to each other so that it's not randomly just dangling off your shoulder. It's easy to adjust the length of the strap by just pulling up or down on this drawstring. It's made of soft cotton elastic and has padding in the middle to keep it comfortable and reduce hanging pressure around your shoulder. There's a few ways you can use this with your camera. First, you can attach the tail buckles directly to your camera. Personally, I hate this method because I hate things dangling from my camera. Especially since I shoot mostly video, the last thing I want is a dangle hitting off my camera and messing with my audio. Next, you can attach the buckles onto a quick release base plate. I prefer this over connecting it to the body of the camera. When it's like this, the tail buckles don't get in the way and they won't bang up against my camera. And finally, Falcon makes this F38 quick release mount where you can attach buckles on it. I already have some attached here. So I can easily attach and detach my camera from the shoulder strap and not have the buckles directly mounted onto the camera itself. This is easily my favorite way to use this. There's actually another way you can use this strap, especially with the Pocket 3. So what I do is attach a link to one of the buckles, and from here, connect it to the other buckle so that we have a closed system. But there's still an open buckle. 
Well, that's where you can attach the Pocket 3 to it. You're gonna need a link attached to the Pocket 3, but yeah, there you go. See, I told you we'd get all this relate to the Pocket 3. <laughs> all right, I'm getting a little too excited about straps, but they're pretty cool though. <laughs> Let me stop talking. <laughs> See ya.